Hello and welcome, this is STR Inc. and today I'm going to play some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Uh, let's see. We left off with a quest to do for the Phoenix. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. I'm not sure where this will take us actually, so let's go back here and do track. Oh, i got to speak with Deke. Okay. That's why. Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Okay. So let's see if we can go ahead and get our spells equipped that we think will be relevant. Um, I'm assuming Glacius would be a good idea along with the bag and we'll put this here too just to have an extra one okay let's see about catching that phoenix hmm this is an interesting little place and i've already actually got the uh fast travel spot unlocked so that's nice this may be a short one Oh, it's an actual cave. This could be a long one. <laughs> All right. That's okay. We'll check it out and see. A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Ah, okay. Is this already giving me vibes of that one um, house elf and blink out his name, the one that's come to the spider bites? Where we found him. This looks very similar already. Bombada. Oh. Good bring Okay, fire. There we go. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's progressing or what. Well, let's check up here before we go that way though. Oh, interesting. I can't get up there. I would have bet money that I would have been able to. Uh, okay. I don't think we want to go that way. This other way probably is a way to uh, a small treasure or something. So let's go Rebellion. look down here first, actually. Could the phoenix be in there? Probably not. I'm guessing it's just a bunch of spiders. Okay, what else we got here? Bombarda. Crucy. Rebellion. What else we have here? Uh, it looks like a drop down. I'm guessing that's to my death, so we probably don't want to do that. Good for you. Rebellion. And there is our collection item. And I don't see anything down there, so let's just keep going. And head back upstairs. Like that was probably all we had to do down here. Definitely getting overpowered because that spider seemed like it should have been more of a challenge. <laughs> okay.
All right. Alive. Concentrate on the spoils we'll be leaving with. Crap. Imperial. Did, bro. You must have sap running through your face. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, now we just gotta take out this thing. you clever cutting Expelliarmus every. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Come out before. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Looks like there's maybe two ways out. There's this little blockade area. And that dude that is laying down there dead. Um, so there's one more enemy still. It looks like there's also a treasure that I haven't picked up yet. I wonder if I get to that one further down or something. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, it's gotta be this way. Bombada. There we go. Okie doke. Wasn't too bad. Druid Wolf Cape. Nice. Keep making our merry way through the cavern. Phoenix, Evo, where are you? Uh, let's see. Some more money. And what else do we have? More poachers. How many are there? Almost looks like I'd be able to jump over on that platform, but that looks like a certain plunge my death if I go at it from this angle. Um. Let's try switching it up to some different spells here. Got me. Arresto momentum. Somebody pay Surprise the Animagus didn't transform yet. Here to show me some dark Well, you've heard quite enough of our ranks. Oh, he fought back a little bit there. Ah, so you had to defeat them all to get the key. Nice. Alright, looks like there could be another treasure that I missed, too. Maybe it's in the upcoming area. Perhaps we start going upwards again. Interesting that there is an explosive here. Let's see if that does anything. I doubt it. But yeah, it's worth checking. The oh. Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Let's go up a stair real quick. I think there's a... This might lead back to that gift that I've seen. Well, I won't Nobody go this way quite yet. One measly little student. About this way first. Okay, looks like there's nothing Rebellion. back here anyway, so it's only one way. Alright. Accio! 
I'll just let him go and fall. Good bunny. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. So it is going to need a key. Okay. There it is again. Where? That's weird. I didn't see anything. Rebellio. Wonder if that was a glitch. Akio. I'm guessing I'll be able to go there, but just in case I can't, I'm going to get the money out of it. Revelio. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if I'll be able to make it over there. This looks like I could climb up, and I'll get that second bag. It looks like nothing else. Maybe we can jump off the ledge into this lower area. Knitted jumper attire. Okay. Go for a little swim. Now a little spot to check out. Oh, I just noticed the objective says reach the peak of the mountain, so we definitely are going to be ascending. Rebellio. That's interesting, only cork lump juice in this little offshoot. Surprised they took the time to put in this, but I guess not everything has to be fruitful. Some of it can be dead ends, I guess. <laughs> I bet we'll have a poacher fight before we can begin to take the phoenix with us. If I were a betting person. Okay. There we go. Trying to make clear. Fiends. <laughs> Adding insult to injury there. Um, as I'm saying. The uh, poor spiders. Okay. Hmm. I see somebody else Rebellion. on the map. Oh, it's a spider up there. I wonder if we'll see it here in a minute as we. Continue to ascend. This looks like a fight arena. Alright, well, we're definitely going to get us some help on this one. And let's see what else we have. What? What did you do? <laughs> this is hilarious. That was the highway. No. Rebellion. Nice. It's pretty fun when you get a few of the items going in on the fight. Barely had to lift my wand. Okay, 
Okay, I saw a treasure on the map a second ago, I thought. Confringo. Looks like it's this way. No, oh, medium ground surfaces. Revelio. Okay, I guess we'll use Bombarda on that. Doesn't look like anything else back here, best I can tell. It looks like a hork lump. It could be picked, but that's about it. Confringo. It's a pretty little area. Water running over the rocks. Looks like another potential big fight. Oh, there's our phoenix, buddy. Hello, phoenix. Hello. I'm here to help. I can take you somewhere safe. Wow. Well, no fight. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. See, Rebellion. is there anything else back here? This feels like it could be a prison. Ah, looks like this is a door to walk out. Okay, well that was a fun little quest. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay, so where exactly did this put me? Feels like I've moved on in somewhere further away. Not a little bit further away, not not a ton though. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to Hogwarts map. And secret rooms, room requirement. Go talk to Deke and we'll see if we can harvest some Phoenix feathers. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... My heavens. Oh, a whole new place. You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the room of requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Thanks, Deke. Let's go see our phoenix, buddy. Ah, it's all the way over there. This would be cool to see this area. I don't think I've seen it yet, ever. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, this is nice. Guess we need to get us a uh, beast feeder put in. So let's do some conjuring. And let's 
see what else are we missing. We need to get out our brush and that should be plenty for now. Alright, little phoenix buddy. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put you in your bag. Oopsie. I'll look after you. Come on, little phoenix buddy. There you go. And let's get food out instead. There we go. Come on, eat your dinner. Eat your dinner. Time to brush. All right. Interesting. Is this a room I actually get to use a spell? Interesting. This area has a little bit more to interact with in a way than some of the other vivariums. I don't remember them really having much to do. You know, in fact, this area looks a lot like um, the opening of the game with Professor Fig when you're stranded and everything. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. If it is supposed to be emulating it a little bit. This whole area is cool. It looks a lot more open than the others. Um, this fact that I can see this far out, I mean, it looks like we're, you know, outside even. Hmm. I wonder if it could be outside just in a magic bubble type thing. See if there are any other secrets. It's like one more box. Short pillar. Okay, what else do we have? climb up so it's a little bit higher but it looks like it might be a hard boundary uh oh I'm stuck oh no oh whoo I thought I might legitimately be stuck there starved to death okay maybe this is it I actually really like this room it may be my favorite overall of uh, the different vivariums like it was really nice and open and pretty Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Okay, uh, let's see what else we had show up on the map. The Shadow of Hope. And I want to go back to the map for a minute because I feel like I saw something else. History of Magic class. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I should be able to go in that door, but I guess. Oh, yeah, that goes to that one teacher. Um, I forget her name, the one that teaches the flying class. I think that's where her office is. So that's a dead end. Makes sense. Okay, we'll wait for the class to start. Enter 
today's lesson we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin mm, battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmos the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. If you fail history of magic, you're doomed to repeat it. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? <laughs> well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, Goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower entrance hall. And all students introduce themselves. Revelio. Uh, let's see. Is it over here? Grimbald Weft. Weft? Weft? Who knows? This is a skull of famed Taylor Grimbald Weft, who's. Skilled needlework repaired countless witches and wizards' coats during the Goblin Rebellion 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh, yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, Rebellion. statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Halfpuddle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons, rather in training yards and scullers. Where his warm and couple an artifact. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. 
This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogshead Inn with a wedge of gargantola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I wonder if it's up over this way. These bits of broom are all the waving statues of Queen. This is a centuries old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study. Revelio. People have always loved their pets. I find that comforting. Ah, this got to be it. Waving Knight. This set of armor belonged to Sir F. Puddle. There it is. The cheerful countenance. A legendarily friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by Virtuo's amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute his success to an overly potent cheering charm he casts upon himself. <laughs> that's cute. Let's see about these others. I think that's the only one that has a mustache. At least of the few that I'm looking at right away. Interesting. In all the centuries that Hogwarts has existed, not once has it collapsed. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True, but imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. <laughs> How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Okay. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. So can see if there are any other funny comments here while we're gathered. Ooh. This unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live to tell the tale. <laughs> Allegedly, the location of the first time it's an arguably successful cast in Bombarda. Data unknown, caster unidentified. That's uh, pretty funny. I remember seeing that uh, mark when I was running around earlier, too. Let's see if there's any other funny comments. Uh, let's see, I think I've already looked up here, but let's just double check. At least we're out of the classroom. Okay, that's probably it, but I'll just double check. Okay, I think that that might have finished that quest, and this may be a good place for me to pause for today, and hopefully we'll be back again soon, so... Go ahead and let credits roll and say thank you for watching. It's been S here Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at S here Rank on each of those. And I'll have a stream up on YouTube shortly. Thanks. Have a good one.